Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned to more looks like this one. This is a special look I created for New Year's Eve. Just stay tuned and I'll show you how to create it. Okay, so first I've already used the Becca Backlight Priming Filter on my skin and I've also already used the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and Matte and Poreless in the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, so next I'm going with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Bronzer Serum. I love this because it's so easy to just bronze up the skin in kind of like a natural way. You can also use it to contour too because it's not too warm. And I'm just taking that on the tops of my temples here and I'm really pressing that into the skin and I'm using my Real Technique sponge. And I'm also going to use that to kind of hollow out the cheeks here as well. I'm just really pressing that into the skin. The goal is to make sure it's really nice and well blended. I'm just doing the same thing on the other side here. You really wanna make sure your sponge is a little bit more damp too and also taking it onto the sides of the nose and then a little bit under that jawbone as you saw earlier too. Then again, just making sure everything's nice and blended out. Okay, so now I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just covering up some little spots, some redness that's peeking through or any sort of you know trouble areas. And then I'm gonna take that Real Technique sponge again and then just press that into the skin. Now it's important that you press it into the skin rather than smear it, because it's really gonna help push the product into the problem area or the thing that you're trying to cover up. And making sure that's really well blended. Next I'm using the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder and just swirling and tapping that on a Jane Iredell Kabuki brush and I'm just pressing that into the skin. As you can see, there's a theme here. You just wanna make sure everything's nice and pushed into the skin rather than smearing products around and kind of pushing them off of each other. So next I'm using the NARS Narcissist Palette and I'm going into this red shade right here. I will put that in the description box below and I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm using this Wet n Wild blush brush, which I absolutely love. This is definitely a favorite of mine. I love these blushes because they just blend so effortlessly into the skin. You really can go in with a heavy hand and they're just so easy to blend out. They really are worth the money. Next, I'm using the NYX Glitter Glue and I'm just priming that on my eyelid using a Sona Kashuk brush. I'm just pressing that in there. And I'm using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, first in the shade Tinsel. I'm just gonna put that on my finger because I want maximum color payoff, and I'm just pressing that onto the eyelid. And really making sure that that's pushed in real nicely. And then next I'm going into the shade, I think this is Fringe, it's kind of like a peach shade. I really like this, it's one of my favorites in the palette. I'm just putting that into my crease and then I'm going in with the shade Stone. I love this, it's like a kind of a neutral gray, leans a little bit cool. And then I'm putting that into the crease here, kind of focusing on the outer V, just making sure that's really nice and well blended. I'm using a Morphe, kind of like a pointer brush to really detail and use fine work there. And then I'm taking this small little shader brush and I'm just focusing that on the lower lash line. And I'm just going to put that in there and smooth it out. Make sure everything's nice and smoked out, kind of blended. And then taking that excess color back into that crease area. Next, I'm using this shade here, which I'll also put in the description box. That is the Urban Decay Shader Brush, and I'm just using that to blend out the crease. Just make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm taking that all the way up to the brow bone. And next I'm using the shade Bone. This is also for my brow bone and just to really highlight that top point of the brow there. And I'm just taking another fluffy shader brush and making sure that's all just fused out, no harsh lines. And next I'm going into the shade Moss, which is really pretty green color. I just couldn't resist myself so close to the holidays. And I'm just putting that into my crease here. I think this really complements the green color, especially since my outfit's so 
you know, kind of neutral. It brings some more color into the look and I really like it. Then again, I'm just taking that Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm making sure that's fused out again, really nice and well blended, no harsh lines. See, it just adds a pop of color. And then I'm going back into the color tinsel, that metal, crushed metal shade, and I'm pressing that into the eyelid. Just to bring back some color we lost earlier. Next, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in the shade Perversion. And I really love, love using this for my waterline. I feel like it stays all day. And then I'm using my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and I'm just giving those eyelashes a really good curl. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other eye. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going with my Marc Jacobs Mascara. And I believe this is in the shade Blackout. And I am just pushing that into my lashes, starting at the root of the lash and then moving upwards and wiggling motions. And once I have that done on all lashes, then I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Highlighter Palette. I'm just using those two shades there on the front. And then I am brushing that on the tops of my cheekbones and anywhere where light's going to naturally hit the skin. And on the center of my nose and then also on the top of my lip here. I love this, these shades because they're kind of more cool tone and I think it really complements the look here. And then I'm taking my Mary Luminizer and adding a little bit more color to the look. I felt like it needed just a little bit more of a golden to just kind of contrast all the silver I had going on without being over the top. And then also putting that on the tops of my brow bone. Next, I'm using the NYX lip pencil in the shade Hot Red. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. I'm gonna overline just slightly and just fix any imperfections in my lips with this liner. And then I'm also going to fill in the lips just to make sure everything lasts all night long for that New Year's kiss. And once that's all done, I'm using the number one Sephora shade. This is the cream lip stain and I'm putting that all over my lips. I recently got this in a holiday set and I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. It stays on the lips all day long. And I find it's one of the least drying liquid lipsticks out there. And once that's on, I'm using my Urban Decay setting spray. This is the D Slick, and I'm just spritzing that all across my face just to make sure everything stays all night long. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the finished look. So that completes this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.